Hello, people. <laughs> we are back, and this time we are reviewing um, all of the cards that came out for the Ninja class in the Everfest set uh, released by Legend Story Studios for their Flesh and Blood game. Um, and that was the most mechanic like, dude, we're not getting sponsored. You don't have to be that thorough. Jeez, oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> this I'll is be, the uh, most this is ever fest from Legends. They're from Australia. Okay, jeez. All right, yeah. Well, you know that you know the fucking game because you clicked on this video. <laughs> God, I just try to be like a YouTuber, dude. Cheers. Right. Cheers, buddy. Um, okay, so Ninja oh. is a class that I've liked to play in the past. I've played it. Um, before competitively and just for fun i'm not a ninja expert it's not my best class by any means but i have some experience and then ryan has played it before and he's played against it a lot um and our buddy sam on the team plays a lot of ninja so we kind of you know refer to him with a lot of the ninja questions but um it's definitely a class that has always been strong and good. Um, so we're going to see how Everfest affects Ninja and what it looks like for them going forward after uh, this set. And we are going to start that off by waxing on, um, which is a zero cost. We'll, we'll use the red one here. Um, Ninja defense reaction, which is interesting because it only defends for three. However, the text says, while Waxon is defending an attack action card with a cost zero, it has a plus two, so it could defend for five. However, it must defend a zero cost attack. Um, I don't usually, you know, like cards that have some type of condition that's out of my control. Like, you can't control what the other opponent's going to play, but you could plan on like oh the meta is a lot of zero cost attack cards and I'm, this character plays a lot of zero cost attack cards so I'm going to sideboard this in potentially but I, I don't see how this would be you know a better play just to get that extra block with the risk of maybe it not being able to block for five on everything I would just be like well I'll just sink below for four instead and use the sink ability and uh -huh. What do or you think? Flick Flack. Or, yeah, like Flick I mean, Flack's so good. Are you ever running this card over Flick Flack? Like, no, no. If you're going to print a, a defense reaction for Ninja, regardless of what the meta is, right? This base defense is three. Yes, it can become a zero for five, which is bananas. Like, that, that would be fantastic. But, like, are you ever taking this over Flick Flack? No. Yeah, no, never. So, but, but also like, like you said, a zero for five would be amazing. But at the same time, uh, it's just, it's so circumstantial. So circumstantial. A, a, like, a regular three block is just it's terrible. Like, yeah. Would you? I would almost rather this be a zero for four. If it's defending a zero cost, it gets plus one. Yeah, like that'd be cool. Well, that'd be really that, good. Sure, but that would be, yeah, be good. extra. I mean, flick flick flack is really good. Yeah, like if we're absolutely. talking about well, really good, fits, flick, the, fits the ninja archetype. Yeah, flick flack is crazy. Yeah. But it, a, a, a zero for four, right? Regular defense reaction, plus one if it's blocking a zero. That would be crazy. That but that would also be very on par. The way that it's printed. I don't think it's playable. You don't, you're not taking this over sink below. You're not taking this over fate for scene. You're not taking this over flick flack ever. Yeah, I agree. That was my initial reaction too. So I'm glad you agree. Yeah. All right. So we're going to move on, Ryan, go ahead and read us. Uh, dude, I swear every time I read this card, I read, I say twin sisters, like every time to my head or twin twisters, but it's a, uh, don't twin, say that. Twin trying twist. to get it. We're trying to get a. We're trying to get a preview card. <laughs> hey, we always click that our it's above above adult. <laughs> that's 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 fair. All right, All right go ahead, twin go ahead. 
seven twisters. All right. Uh, we got a one cost, three three base, two defense. Uh, choose one. Twin twisters gains when this hits. Your next attack, this combat chain, gains plus one. Or twin twisters gains plus one. Oh, again. So twin twisters, twin twisters can become a one for four. Or it could be if it hits, your next attack gains uh, plus one. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know shit about this class. Um, my initial reaction would be, you know, one for four, go again. Not the best. Uh, it's about on par with everything else. Is, it, uh, is leg tap? Leg tap, it one, leg tap is one. leg tap is a one for four, go again. So this would be on par with a with, with a two block. I might add. So you technically could have the same thing as leg tap unless you're playing casino and you want to say hey don't block this if this hits it's a plus one to my next card so well we were talking right before we left our play session today we we're like oh dude there's a lot of ninja cards that just give you go again now like like you don't even like if you just wanted to be like <laughs> i'll just use all the cards that spam out these attacks that and maybe follow some com you know combo lines like this is just another hey one for four go against like pretty on par with uh, being pretty good. However, this is not part of any combo line, so it's just a solid, it's just a solid one for four because I feel like you you pick that twin twisters gets plus one. But I mean yeah you can you can play like. But why not play you know leg tap and then rising knee thrust and do the whole, do the whole. But may, maybe if you. Maybe if you don't want to use the leg tap line, but you just want to have an attack that's solid one for four go again. Like, but why would you ever? I just run leg tap. Like, I don't you know, don't there even some, want to there run. There some. There were some. Yeah. This card's so crazy. This is yeah. interesting. It's it doesn't fill any slot that Ninja already didn't, didn't have. Didn't have. Yeah, I agree. It's you can't breaking scales, so even if you choose the first mode, it's not like oh I breaking scales you and now it's now my next attack gains plus one. Well, it doesn't have combo, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can razor it, I guess, but like just run leg tap and run the combo. I this this is a niche niche card. I don't know enough about the class to like be able to accurately say where this fits in. I just don't think it fits in. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do agree. this, just just run leg tap. Just do that line. I will say, dude, I'm such a dork. Like, I was looking at the cards today, and, like, with the all these cards are, like, very wind-based in this set, which is cool because, like, Katsu is the lord of wind. And so, like, eh, oh. it's very, oh, it's all these wind attacks. Yes. But it, here's, even if you're not playing Rising Knee Thrust, right? The threat of you maybe playing Rising Knee it's Thrust. It's scarier than knowing that there's nothing that comes after this. There's now. nothing that comes after this, yeah. right? There might be eventually, but yeah. there's nothing. So, yeah. like, if you play this card, you're just not... No one's afraid of this card. No, I agree. There's no combo. The next one I feel the same way about. Um, Ride the Tailwind is a zero-cost... We're looking at the red here, ninja attack action card, or ninja action attack, you know, three base, two defense. When Ride the Tailwind, another wind type card, hits the next attack action card with two or less base damage, you play this combat chain gains go again. Which is weird because, like, I don't know if you, you open up you play this and maybe you have like um a combo piece that's not you don't have the full line but you have like the second piece of a combo that wouldn't have go again otherwise so you we're could... thinking we're thinking about these cards in terms of cc uh mm -hmm. i think this is a benji card the the yellow and the red because i think benji's what's benji's ability Dude, like, I don't even he, know, bro. I know, but I think it's like 
if you play an attack action card with base attack two or less, they can't play cards. They can't defend with cards from their hand. Like, I think he locks you out like that. Oh, if that's that the case. And she might be. I don't know if he's determined whether he's a he or she. Oh, well, but, whatever. Whatever Benji. Whatever, whatever they Benji. Are. Whatever, yeah. whatever Benji is, yeah, it's 2022. Uh, I believe this is a Benji card. The yellow version of this uh, is, you know, you can't defend it. So, the next attack action card with two or less. And then the next one would automatically get go again. I think that's Benji's hero ability is like if an attack action card with two or less. You can't defend with a card from hand. Like, you have to defend with equipment, basically. Okay. Well, that makes more, so I, s- more sense. Yeah, I think that's where this comes from. I don't know where the hell Twin Twisters is. Maybe that's a Benji card, too. I don't know. But I think that's what this card is printed for. In CC, this card is trash. Yeah, you're right. I just looked. looked. Dude, I think it's a girl, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, who knows? Uh, when, yeah, that's exact. You're exactly right. Attack action cards you control with two or less base can't be defended by cards from hand. And then once yeah. per turn effect, when an attack action card you control hits your next attack this turn gains plus one. Yeah, so, Benji's like cracked now. Yeah, so that's so that's why this is this was printed. Okay, well then that makes more sense. We do always look at things through just a, a CC CC lens. Yeah. Well, and you know maybe Titty Twisters or, or Twin Sisters or twi- Twin Twisters is more of a blitz, good and Blitz card too. Uh, sure. We're never gonna get a promo, dude. Zero yeah, percent chance we're ever gonna get a preview card. <laughs> James White, we apologize. Uh, but at least we're fun about it. Um, yeah. Okay, you get to read this next card, and then oh, I cannot do the honor. You have to do the honor for this. You're okay. so hyped about this card. I was. All right, so the next card is 100 wins. Um, zero cost ninja attack action card. It reads combo. If 100 yeah. wins was the last attack this combat chain, this attack gains plus one for each other card named 100 wins you control on the combat chain. Go again. Uh, so pretty interesting because like, you read it and you're like, okay... This red one's three, uh, yellow is two, blue is one. Uh, it's good that it's a zero cost and it has combo. Um, that goes along with everything Ninja wants to do and that it combos with itself. And we were playing today and I found myself really enjoying playing this card and finding ways to sneak it in in, in, in different opportunities. Um, it, 100 wins... 100 wins and then cat suing or you know like cat suing to find another 100 wins or whatever whatever the situation may be i think i found more um what's the word i'm looking for i found more like utility and ability to put pressure on my opponent with this 100 wins card than i thought i was going to originally and the art on it is really cool it's katsu himself and it's like some wind stuff, and he's the Lord of Wind. So, you know, hundreds... he's, being, he's being gusty. Like he's just yeah, gusty. He's, like, yeah, he's being he's being gusty. What did you think about cool. like when I was playing it today? I like originally when I saw this card, I was like, uh, Ninja didn't get anything. That kind of sucks. But playing it, I was like, ooh, okay. Like zero for three go again is pretty good. And then when you can like link it to other hundred wins and it's like okay now all of a sudden it's a zero for four go again Mm -hmm. all right it could be a zero for six go again like it kind of gets out of hand a little bit like if you can if you hit with this uh or you know you go over the top because it it innately has combo which is kind of crazy like it's a base card zero cost that auto has combo so you can trigger uh, scalers or scales with this breaking scales with this. Um, you can trigger um, breeze rider boost. breeze wide breeze riders with these. Like it's basically turns everything live. Like ancestral is good with this. Like it's 
It's just kind a good of, card. Uh, it's a good it, and it's good. It's a good threat for your mask trigger too. Like um, yep, and you, could, you can always you you never feel bad pitching it and then grabbing, uh, you know, co- other relevant yeah, you combo can pieces. Spam these out, yeah. But like you can pitch if you have you one of these it, in hand. Pit, you yeah, can you can pitch, pitch it if and, you need to pitch yeah. it. You, this card, you can, I think this card is very good. It's a zero cost, so you can you, yeah, like you said, you can pitch pitch the blues if you need it. It synergizes with your Kodachi's. You can Katsu ability it where you can choose it to discard to go find a combo piece. It just the it, fact that it has the fact that it has combo is kind of crazy. Yeah, because then it's when it's a shitty it's when it's a shitty two defense. Your flick flack helps this card, you know. Yep. So. Become a defense I, reaction. Like it, this card has a lot of play. Yeah, I like it. I liked it a lot today. So I was running, um, I was running like all nine just to get the feel for it, and I, I liked it a lot. Um, I don't know if that's right, but nobody knows what's right right now. It just came out. It's like, annoying. Like if yeah. you play a yellow, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to block these. Nobody wants yeah. to block this. Um, I right, said so we'll let you do the next one, which is cool because it pairs with this card. So go ahead and Ryan read the winds of eternity. I'm a, I'm a sucker for ninja art, man. I find center. I got three foils. Dude, find center foil is like one of those beautiful cards. And this is no exception. God, look at those guys. Yeah. I have one foil. I got to trade you for it somehow. I know. Look at look at the guys in the back. It's just yeah. There's like fuck. the force the force ghosty wind people that are behind him. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Katsu I'm sorry. Gives me big time Ghost of Shishima vibes. Right. Yeah, like, he is. Yeah. Right? J- Jin Sakai. Yeah, like big he Jin Sakai vibes, dude. But God, this this art. I I will read the card eventually, but I want us all to take just God. All right, combo. It is a zero blue three block, which is ninja mwah, chef's mm-hmm. kiss Two attack base. Ooh, it sucks. Combo. If a hundred wins was the last attack that's combat chain. Winds of eternity gains plus two. And when this hits shuffle all cards named hundred wins you own on the combat chain in your deck. So it is interesting, right? Um, not the best finisher that we would have hoped for if we were ninjas. But it's a one, but it's a two piece combo. Winds of Eternity, you know, it's not like it is it, a two piece combo, and, which is cr- which is crazy. And it's a blue block three, blue block three pitch three zero cost. It does and has combo on it. Like it does everything Katsu wants it to do. You're cool if this card goes off. You're like hell yeah. Maybe you you Katsu into you place. I have a turn where you like, you know, hundred wins, hundred wins, and you you went you go and find one of these or something. It's cool to have and and but if it doesn't go off, it's like fine center. Like nobody played fine center. Like nobody tried to get that whole line down, the soul bead line to get to fine center. It's like if fine center happens, that's wonderful for me. If it doesn't, it still has. A, there's a use for this in my deck, you know. Like yeah, it, it's good when it happens, and it's it, it's a good play, which is what this kind of falls into, I think. The fact that it's a two piece combo potentially is like amazing. Like it's hundred wins. This obviously they'll cover it up, but like mm-hmm. the, the hundred wins line, I think is it's very good. Like hundred wins, hundred wins, hundred wins. This like you know that's like. Extremely strong, yeah. Um, and then you can shuffle more hundred wins into your deck, and continuously getting that zero go again is is good. And otherwise, I mean, there's not much more in Katsu to ask for than a blue zero block three. Yeah, I think this card's. I, I think I think this card's very good. I think if you are committed and you want to run the hundred wins line, you run three of these and. You're never upset if this net doesn't go off because this isn't your win condition. Yeah. But if it does go off, it's great. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that statement. Um, I'll read this next one. 
And now that I'm so ignorant, now that I know what Benji actually does, maybe this will make make more sense to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, spring tidings. Uh, it's a zero cost ninja attack action. Benji specialization. Uh, two base damage is a three block. When spring tidings hits, draw a card for each other attack action card with two or less base you control on the combat chain. Go again. Which now that makes a lot of sense with all the the two base damage stuff so this, and she's this, busted yeah this is really good then if yeah. you were spamming out those two or less base attacks on the combat chain and then you hit them with some spring tidings when spring tidings oh. has draw a card for each other attack action card with two or less base damage so you could draw like two or three cards you could end with yeah. this and oh, like 17 draw... cards and then you just keep going two 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 yeah but they're they gonna block it so i mean with and the but you could it's still, it's still it still has go again. Yeah, I know. Even if you draw one card, that's crazy. But it has to hit to draw. Sure. When spring tidings hits, draw. So I you yeah, you could like go use a reaction. They have, on this. To, they have to block it with armor. Yeah, they're gonna they're they're gonna block this card. Because they can't afford you to draw like whatever you want to draw. But uh, initial reaction is a non Benji player in my lifetime. It just seems Seems like it does what she wants to do, so that's see. It just seems cool. stupid. Like Benji just seems stupid. Like <laughs> any character that's like, hey, you can you you're not allowed to play the game. You can't block because this card's a bitch card. And then it's like, oh, let's give this guy who people can't block. Let's give them a two cost that also lets them draw. And then, oh yeah, it has fish. go again. It's just I. I understand. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't like this card for the game. I don't like Benji for the game. Do yeah, I'm be a Benji um, Blitz player now? I know. Like Blitz, <laughs> Skirmish Season Three or Four or Five, whatever it is, is coming up. Benji's gonna just take over between this and then the mask that we're gonna review in a second. Like that's crazy. Yeah. You're not allowed to block, but you can just draw cards, and also everything has go again. That's Ugh. All right, I'm, so I'm being old man Scrooge. No, 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 you're not. You're not. Um, okay, so then Ryan, read us Break Tide. Cool art on this card. Great art on this card. Uh, the the moist ninja combo finisher. So, uh, zero cost, two base, three. It's yellow. Uh, combo. If Rushing River or Flood of Force was the last attack of this combat chain, Break Tide gains plus three dominate Heyo. And when Break Tide hits, banish the top card of your deck until the end of your next bit of op or a little bit of this today. Um Oh you cut out for a second, but yeah. Yeah, you play you played this card today. Like yeah. how good would you say this card was? So I think I leaned a little bit too much into the whole rushing river, Torrent of Temple rushing river trying to get to this, just to like test out the feel. And I yeah. think if you treat this, you know how some people treat in classic constructed, they treat the leg tap line as like, okay, I'll run the red leg taps, I'll run the red rising knee and then like one blackout kick or one hurricane technique. You know how they, they have, they put like as like a baby combo line in there. Yeah. You know how people do that? Like they'll have like, okay, the surging line's my main line. And then I'll put like a little baby line of, uh, for sure. For sure. I think you can do like, um, if you were going to experiment with this, you can have a line where you try to get, you know, torrent of tempo rushing river, then break tide. Well, we did this today, and I got to, um, you know, banish the top card of my deck and wait until my next turn to play it, and it really helped because then you, you – I think I had, ar I had arsenal the card, so I felt like I had, like, a six-card hand, and then, like, you know, what I had you banished beat was me overwhelming. Be you, you beat me because of this card. Yeah, yeah, like, because I was able to, like, banish overwhelming um, – uh, it was like a combo piece that I needed that was just waiting there for me to use. So uh, 
the ability on this break tide is really strong. The problem is it feels like rushing, uh, rushing river doesn't feel that good, and it doesn't, doesn't. I don't think it's that good. But torrent of tempo is good, and so like I don't know how much, how many of this break tide or 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 what the right um, amount of this combo line is to put into a deck. But this card is a good finish for the torrent of tempo into rushing river um, instead of like that flood flood of force which was the previous like ender right yeah i would this card is crazy this card's amazing mm -hmm. the key is how do you build towards this card because rushing river does suck mm -hmm. flood of force i don't i i admittedly i have it I am just not familiar with it because it's just not as good. But this card by itself is insane. So yeah, if you can good. figure, if you can figure out a way to get there, and this, then the deck is crazy. But I think even it, just threatening of this card. Well, um, let's say you you know you you open with a torrent of tempo. And then in your hand, you have the natty rushing river, or you, or you go search for the rushing river. And then, like, the threat of this coming next, or, like, or let's or say you play the rushing river, and then you have the threat of going to find this is going to make people, you know, pretty nervous. Uh, sure. So I mean, this card's crazy. This card's yeah, a great card. It's good that it exists. And the fact that it lasts until the next turn, yeah, uh, the banished, see. is that's the... I mean that's something that's not been done, and that's yeah. like really cool. I'm I'm glad this card exists. If you, I feel like it's a build around. You like you have to build up to it because the the cards before it aren't that great. So figuring out how to get to this card is going to be a puzzle piece, but it's worth it. I mean this card is very very good. Yeah. All right, and then uh, last but not least, we have the mask of the pouncing lynx so they give ninja another head piece and it says when an attack action card you control hits you may destroy mask of the pouncing lynx if you do search your deck for an attack action card with two or less damage ba yeah less damage banish it then shuffle you may play it this turn it's a blade break and it has a two block. So like you said, this is like a Benji mask almost. Like it's for like they like made this mask for Benji, right? It is a Ben it, it's a Benji mask. And this is again, this is very scary. And I I mean I've seen some things about people making like these just absolute nuts Benji combos, but this card clearly adds to it. Uh, it's just it's a. I think this is a blitz card. If you're playing CC, you're playing Katsu. You're not playing this card. You're playing Momentum. But mm. this card, I think, is busted for Benji. I think being able to find a card that he or that you're not allowed to block, like you you play cards that can't be blocked, and all of a sudden, well, then you go find you, another one. Yeah, you find another card that can't be blocked, and then it can draw you cards that can't be blocked, like. Imagine <laughs> finding that one card that we talked about that spring yeah. tidings, right? Yeah. Now all of a sudden when spring tidings hit, draw a card for each other attack action card with two or less base that you <laughs> like That's gonna be fascinating. Isn't Benji's health like only like seventeen or something because of this? I yeah, but it's like you you hit on your last attack, they can't draw, you trigger the mask. You break it. You find spring tidings. You yeah, then, hit with that. Yeah. You draw five cards that you know you've all planted your deck. So now everything has two or less five. attack. <laughs> and so you then continuously play five cards. So that's ten extra. Like, this card's crazy. Like, Benji is stupid because he breaks the game or she breaks the game. <laughs> whatever. But, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's that this... 
Interesting. breaths. I don't complain about. I don't complain about cards. Blitz. This, this, yeah, this card for Blitz. It. I don't think it's healthy. Um, I don't think that deck is healthy because you're not allowed to block, which doesn't seem right. But hey, it is what it is. Card's good. If you have it in cold foil, sell it for money or play it because Benji's going to probably be the best Blitz character uh, in the next uh, skirmish season. But you don't play this in CC. You play Mask of Momentum instead. Mm-hmm. Um. I closed out the last one, so I'm gonna let you close this one out, my friend. Ooh, all right. Uh, thank you guys for uh, you know tuning in. This is our meanderings when it comes to the ninja class. As always, you know we love when you guys message us on YouTube. You guys leave comments, whatever it is. We we try our best to respond. get you know get to everybody and respond to everybody. Um, if you guys have like you know success with these new like cards for this class, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, we are just two idiots talking about this game that we love, and uh, we would love to hear from you guys. If there's any specific content that you guys would like us to make or talk about or whatever it is, also we're always up for suggestions. But on that note, he is Jim. My name is Ryan. We are with the Roundtable of Wraith, and until the next video. Oh. Twin 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 sisters out. Twist.